Good morning, guys. Today, I'm talking about freelancing. I'm trying to quit uh, drinking coffee because it hasn't been agreeing with me so much. So, I'm having a little cold pressed uh, mother shot, which is basically strawberry and blueberry and apple cider vinegar. So good. I normally wake up and before I'm firing on all cylinders, I tend to take a little drive to the petrol station that sells the coffee that I like, but I can't do that now. So I'm going to attempt to go for a little walk. I'm struggling to find the motivation. Whoops, I forgot my Apple Watch. Might as well get the steps in. Surprise, my camera's still here. It's not the safest place uh, to leave your camera while you go for a walk, but uh, you've got it. Decided to wear a black t shirt. Currently, they have load shedding, so I'm gonna put up a hammer. Hey guys, power's back on, so let me go right to today's topic. I was asked the other day, how do you get freelance work? And so I thought it'd be a great way to talk about freelancing. I spent the first 10 years of my career working for myself. Broadly, I was a freelancer. I preferred the term an independent designer or creative. There's many different ways of being a freelancer though. I know people who freelance on the weekends, they freelance in the evenings, which some people might call moonlighting. I think when you're a student, you can freelance. You know, there's some people who like, they literally, that's their career, they're freelancers. I'm gonna talk about it in the context that I know to be in and how I could best advise that you, you are a freelancer. Being a freelance designer for me is a great way that you can make money when you're still working. And I think as long as your employees know that what you're doing is some extra design work on the side or video work or illustration or writing, whatever it might be, I think as long as they're okay that like there's no conflict between the work you're doing as a freelancer with the work you have in your day job, I think there's nothing wrong with that. It supplements your income, which any employer that has a problem with you making a little extra money on the side, I will never understand because 
you know, everybody's always asking for more money in their jobs and in their positions because most people are living like in that kind of financial window of, of what they earn is, is what they live on. So if you can alleviate your employees' um, financial situation and take the pressure off yourself because you know your employees are they're making a good salary and they've got the supplemented income, why not? I think also with people shifting over from agency life where there's not as much opportunity to freelance because you spend most of your life at the agency and people are moving into corporate where you're now working an eight hour day and you've probably got extra time on your hands. I think it's a good thing that people be allowed to freelance. I think you get to up your skills, which is hugely important because you don't want people just working for you and what you hired them for is what they do and that's in that's it. You want people who are working for you and they are growing and they are like really trying new things and experimenting and then bringing those skills back into the workplace, which I think is a really, really great thing. I think freelancing is great. I would encourage like as long as there's an openness with your employers, I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, where do you get freelance work from? Well, there's many places. The first thing I'd recommend that you do is put your portfolio together on your website so that if somebody Googles, they put in your name or they put in freelancer, whatever, you've got a website that is your showcase to put your work up and you can put on there, I work at so-and-so or I additionally do freelance work, look at the things I'm able to do, the services that I can offer. Now, before I carry on, freelancers aren't going to earn what your companies are charging. So learn a different financial model and I'll cover that in another episode. But it's extra cash. This to me is holiday money. This to me is money for gear. This is, you know, money for gifts. This is money for merch. Put on your website that you do freelancing. Then the next thing to do is get onto other websites like Behance and Dribble and even LinkedIn. Go and build up these profiles so that they're super sharp, they showcase your work, you keep announcing new projects, you keep talking to people so that they know that one, you can do this great work, which is showcasing, and two, that you're even available. Don't be shy to go, available for freelance work. I don't know like, why that's hard for people. I don't know if people feel some sense of shame or like they should hide it from their employer. Like I said, if you've been open with your employer, then honestly, there's no reason for your employer to have any problem with you putting on the available for freelance work. I mean, I know a ton of creatives who aren't just designers they happen to be photographers and musicians and you know it's always baffled me that people are cool with guys that are part of a band but no you're not allowed to freelance doing design or something like that that makes no sense that there are sites that you can go on different employment sites that will usually have permanent contract and freelance opportunities there and I mean those you just hit everybody up and you just send them links to your portfolio and you should be able to get a ton of work. The last and final thought I really have on this is that you should talk to people and leverage your own network. Start with family and friends, working with colleagues, collaborate where your skills complement somebody else's skills. I mean talk to developers. It's a great way to to get in some freelance work because they're not design guys or front-end guys and you can get on that stuff. So I think it's probably the single best way that I've ever gotten work, whether that be permanent work, freelance work, contract work. It's people I know, people that have been following my career, who've seen that I do amazing stuff. And as long as they know that you're available for freelance work, they'll normally reach out and referrals are the number one way to get work as a freelancer. My name is Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.